Hello students, welcome you to another lecture of physics. This is again Sir Murtaza from Al Murtaza School. So let's start our learning. So in this lecture video, what is the agenda or the topics that we are going to discuss in this video? So in this video, we are going to discuss the following SLOs and what are the SLOs? Distinguish between among the different types of motion and define the term speed, velocity and acceleration. Okay. So in this video, we are going to discuss two SLOs. Okay. One is we have to distinguish among the different types of motion and we have to define some terms like speed, velocity, acceleration, etc. Okay. So first we are going to start with our first SLO for this lecture video. So uh, the first one is distinguish among the different types of motion. So as we are discuss, uh, are, as we are, are making a difference uh, between uh, different types of motion, uh, which is rest and motion. So uh, actually, we are looking onto the, the 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 difference between rest and motion. Okay. So here is a table which gives you the differences. And I ha I have told you before. So whenever you are uh, having a difference between any two term, so first difference should be its definition. So here you could see that the first point is its definition. We are looking at the difference between rest and motion. So the definition of rest is if the body does not change its position with respect to its surrounding, while the definition of motion is if a body changes its position with respect to its surrounding. So first difference will be its definition and the other difference could be its example. Okay. So the example for rest is book lying on a table while the example for motion is car moving on a road. Okay. This is very simple. Just we have to uh, give the difference between rest and motion. First is its definition and second is the example. Okay. So now move on to the next topics. So now we are going to define some terms. Okay. One by one, we will be having some terms and we will look onto its definition. So the first uh, definition that we are going to discuss is distance. Okay. So before talking about distance, if I just formally ask you what actually means distance, distance means how much uh, I could say that how much uh, meters you have covered. For example, I'm sitting here. Okay. And I move, for example, five meters. So it means that I have covered five meters. Okay. So this is the formal definition. Now look on to the actual definition of distance. Uh, the actual definition of, uh, of distance is length of a path between two points is called the distance between those points. Okay. So here you could see that whenever we are talking about distance, there should be two points. One is its starting point and the other would be its end point. Okay. And in order to move from one point to another, let's look onto this picture. For example, I am here. Okay. I'm uh, riding a, for example, I'm riding a bicycle. First, what I have to do, uh, I move to point A to point B. Okay. Which is my house. And then from this house, I move to the tree. Okay. So if I ask you how much distance I have covered while staying at point A, for example, this is point A and move to point C. So you will see that, you know, just ignore this line for a moment. You will see if I'm talking about distance. So first what I have do, I have covered the distance of four meters. So this is my path actually. First I'm talking about the path because the definition is length of a path. Length of a path means that whatever rasta you have covered, the length of the actually you have distance covered. Hota hai. So manage your path that I have chosen is uh, what I have done. I just I first move from here to here. Okay, which is four meter. Then I move from here to sorry. Then I move from here to here, which is three meter. So actually I have covered seven meter distance, which is four plus three. Uh, okay, getting the point because the path is this and this and the length is for example, this is three and this is four. So the actual distance that I have covered is seven. Okay. So the distance is seven meter according to this picture. So distance is length of a path between two points. Okay. Now let's move on to the next definition. The next definition is displacement. Okay. Now distance and displacement are relative terms. How look on first, we are looking onto the definition. The definition of displacement is the shortest distance between two points is called displacement. Okay. What does this mean? The shortest distance between two points. Let's look onto this picture. 
okay here another i have a picture another picture i have uh, to explain displacement now as i have told you that there is always two points one is the starting point and other is the end point so for example for example i am here at the start point okay uh, the path what i have chosen is i first move like this okay then i have taken a u turn then i reach to this point okay so this is my starting point and this is my end point now when we talk about displacement displacement is the shortest distance so if i talk about what is the shortest distance uh, between start and the end point this is the shortest distance so this is the displacement okay and when i talk about distance so uh, if i talk about distance so this is the distance uh, which uh, has been shown in the figure okay uh, this whole length of the path if i may calculate it so it will be the distance but if i talk about displacement so this is the displacement uh, which is the shortest distance okay and further if i uh, just explain you in a simple words so displacement is actually uh, like how much we have displaced displaced means how much we have translate from one point to another uh, for example for example there is some case where i have uh, covered some distance but my displacement is zero how for example if i show you uh, through the pointer okay here uh, i have the pointer so what i'm going to do is what i have said that for example uh, i have moved from here okay then i move here okay then i move downwards okay then i return back to the initial position so what actually is for example first i move uh, in this direction then i move in this direction then i move in this direction then i move in this direction so let's suppose each is of 4 meters so if i talk about distance so i have what distance i have covered 4 plus 4 8 plus 4 12 plus 4 16 so 16 meter distance i have covered but what is the displacement displacement is zero why displacement is zero because the start point and the end point is zero even i have covered some distance but uh, where i have started i have also ended up at the same point so it means my displacement is zero so at times it happens that you have covered some distance but the displacement could be zero okay so the example i have shown you in this figure hopefully i have understood it now now let's move on to the next definition the next definition is speed speed is very simple raftar okay so now look on to its definition the definition is the distance covered by an object in unit time is called its speed very simple how much distance you have covered in unit time unit means one is known as its speed for example if i am covering 5 meter in 1 second so my speed will be 5 meter per second okay for example if i uh, talk about kilometer per hour so if you ride a bike or a car so the speed shows you in kilometer per hour for example if you are moving it at a speed of 60 km per hour so it shows that you will cover 60 km in 1 hour okay so your speed would be 60 km per hour mathematically the formula is v is equal to s upon t where s is the distance t is the time and its unit is meter per second or ms minus 1 okay so this is speed now what is uniform speed okay so first you have to understand the word about uniform Uh, whenever you talk about physics the word uniform means uh, which does not change okay uniform means in a same manner so what is its definition a body has uniform speed if it covers equal distances in equal intervals of time okay so what does this uh, it means to cover equal distances in equal interval of time so it means that for example if i am traveling and my speed is uniform uniform means i am continuously moving with for example uh 10 meter per second uh it means that it at every second i am covering the same distance which is 10 okay so it means that i am in uniform speed but if it happens for example in the first second i am covering 10 meter in the second second i am covering 12 meters for example in the third second i am covering 8 meters so i am not in uniform speed because i am continuously changing my speed okay so this is not uniform for uniform speed your distance should be equal okay at equal intervals of time okay now velocity uh speed and velocity are relative terms okay so the definition is rate of displacement of a body is called its velocity okay so velocity depends on displacement and speed depends on distance and the definition is same for both of them that is distance per unit time this is displacement per unit time whenever the word you see the rate 
in physics rate means with respect to time the rate of displacement means our displacement upon time okay so mathematically the formula is d upon t and it has the same unit which is meter per second or ms minus 1 okay now uniform speed uniform speeds definition is a body has uniform speed if it covers equal displacements in equal interval of time it is same as uniform speed in uniform speed we talk about distances in uh, velocity or uniform velocity we talk about displacement so whenever a body is covering equal displacement in equal intervals of time it means that it is not changing its velocity so the body is in uniform velocity okay now acceleration okay this is a little technical term what is acceleration at times you don't get confused with acceleration and speed so the definition of acceleration is acceleration is defined as a rate of change of velocity of a body okay so what does this mean this means that how much body is changing its speed with respect to time is known as acceleration that is why it is known as the rate of change of velocity okay for example for example if i uh, give you an example in order to make you understand about this for example i am moving uh, on a road okay and i am continuously changing my speed like 2 meter per second square okay what does this mean uh, i am uh, moving with 2 meter per second in the first second and in the next second i am again uh, i am moving with 4 meter per second or it means that i am accelerating with 2 meter per second square okay or i could just uh, give you a little uh, another example for example um uh, i am moving again i am moving and uh, i am talking about acceleration which is a rate of change of velocity so it means that uh, for example if i uh, talk about uh that i am accelerating with 5 meter per second square it means that uh at every second my speed is increasing by 5 getting my point if i'm talking about that i am moving or accelerating with 5 meter per second square it means that at every second my speed will be increased by 5 at first second it would be 5 meter per second in the second it could be 10 in the third second it could be 15 and the fourth second it would be 20 and so on so this is actually uh, the rate of change of velocity what velocity what rate uh, uh, what rate uh, accordingly i am changing my speed that is 5 meters okay so the formula is vf minus vi upon t okay vf minus vi means final velocity minus initial velocity uh, with respect to time okay initial means at the starting point and final means after some time interval okay for example i'm if i'm talking about i am moving with a speed of 10 meter per second and after 15 seconds my speed becomes 20 meter per second so my initial speed would be for example 5 and after 10 second i have said that my speed becomes 20 so my final velocity will become 20 okay now its unit is meter per second square or ms minus 2 and there is something to get uh, to have a note about that is acceleration of a body is positive if its velocity increases with time okay this is a, a very important thing uh, whenever the speed of a body is increasing so the acceleration is always positive so positive sign shows that the body is uh, the body is increasing its velocity okay while acceleration of a body is negative if velocity of a body does not decreases sorry does decrease if if, uh, if the velocity of a body decreases negative acceleration is also called deceleration or retardation it means that uh, if the acceleration of a body is negative it shows that the velocity of a body decreases and negative acceleration is also called as deceleration or retardation okay there is another name for negative acceleration which is deceleration or retardation okay so this is about acceleration acceleration is a rate of change of velocity and whenever acceleration is positive it shows that the body is increasing its speed while if uh, the acceleration is negative it shows that the body is decreasing its speed for example if i am moving with 50 km per hour after 10 second my speed would be 10 meter or uh, 10 km per hour so as my speed is decreasing so it means that uh, my acceleration is negative and negative acceleration is also called as deceleration or retardation now final definition is and another thing uh if the velocity of a body is uniform then acceleration is zero this is another point uh if the body is not changing its speed so it means that the acceleration is zero okay because each time initial and final velocities are the same so whenever we make its difference for example i'm moving with 5 meter per second and after 10 minutes uh my speed is again 5 meter per second 
So my initial velocity and my final velocities, both are the same. So if I uh, make the difference of two same terms, so it becomes zero. So this is a reason if a body is in uniform, so it means that the acceleration is zero. Okay. Now the final thing is uniform acceleration. Uniform means if it does not changes. So a body has uniform acceleration. If it has equal changes in velocity in equal interval of time. If at every second, for example, if it is changing with equal velocity, it means that it is in uniform acceleration. Okay. So hopefully you have understood all the topics very, uh, uh, all the topics correctly. So this is it for this video. Inshallah, we'll meet you soon again in the next video. So till then, Allah Hafiz.